Welcome back. It's time for everyone's favorite word game. That's right, we're playing Semantle. And so if you've not played this game before and you want to have some idea how it works, you can either search Google for Semantle, S-E-M-A-N-T-L-E, -E, or you can just watch along and uh, I'll try to explain the rules here. Basically, every day, starting at midnight, GMT, there is a random word that's selected from print articles. And uh, the program word to vec is used to determine similarity between words. Your objective is to guess today's keyword. Um, and you, by making guesses as to what the word is, word to vec will let you know the correlation score of or the, what they call similarity here linking your word to uh, today's keyword. And the secret word can be any part of speech, will always be a single word, and um, it'll be used however the most common usage of that word is demonstrated. Um, <laughs> you will need more than six guesses, they assure you. You know, that's funny. You probably need more than six guesses, we'll say it that way. Um, but yeah, lowercase words are solutions, but you can guess nice or nice, and you can see how similar your guess is to today's word. But the secret word of the day uh, is never going to be nice. It's going to be always something in lowercase. And yeah, so cold has multiple definitions, etc. So uh, there's a new word every day. Uh, yesterday's word was bar which by some miracle I got in a ridiculously low number of guesses. Um, I guessed like food and drink and a few other things and very quickly jumped to bar and that was it. So should we start by guessing bar just for fun? Piano is always a fun guess. Person I found to be a useful guess is I've also found leader. Leader tends to correlate with a lot of things. Um, I guess because it has multiple meanings, but those meanings are similar. Um, but yeah, what else might we want to guess today? Uh, let's see. Snow. All right, so weather is the closest guess we've gotten so far. The 1,000th nearest word based on words that are in print, has a similarity score of 26. My guess of weather has a score of 19. So that's probably in the top 10,000 words. Um, you can see these words are more similar and these are less similar to whatever the secret is. So let's just keep guessing. Um, Also, it could be any part of speech. So you might find that some parts of speech, like nouns or verbs, might better correlate with what we're trying to find. Um, hmm. So we've already guessed um, cloud and weathering and heat and sun and light. And yeah, none of that seems to quite be with it. Uh, season? No. So this is something more immediate, um, something not long term, I suppose. What could it be? Yeah, so this is definitely, hmm, I wonder. Yeah, so what else might be fun to guess? Oregon's a fun one too, but yeah, that has nothing to do with this. Um, hmm. You can just throw random guesses out there too and see how well they do. Hmm. 
Okay, it's closer to Tide than to other things. What could it be? We're still not at 26 yet. We haven't found the thousandth closest word. So there's a lot still to consider. Wait, um, what's the phenomenon where there's things in the ocean that go up and down that people surf on? We could just call it surf, but that's not it. A wave? Yeah. No, that's not it either. So, or at least that's not our secret word. Uh. Hmm. Yeah, I'm still at a loss. By making guesses, eventually we're going to get closer. We just have to make a lot of guesses. So whatever the secret word is, has some similarity to tide and to weather. But nothing so extreme as a hurricane. Hmm. It's okay. What else? It could be that whatever this is is not a weather phenomenon at all. Uh, could have to do with like rising things. Uh, Well, we almost got the thousandth nearest word. A lot of these words have to do with weather and with water. Hey, there we go. Does it matter how I spell this, too? Yeah, if I can spell vapor with or without a U, and it normalizes the spelling for me. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're halfway there. So 938 out of a thousand means that their uh, the today's secret word is number 1,000 out of a thousand. And this means there are 61 words between this and the secret word in terms of word to vec, noting similarity between my guess and other words in a similar context. Um, Evaporate, really? I mean, what could it be? This 
something with a fluid transfer um, that's natural, I guess. Yeah, I guess it's a verb. Whatever it is that we're looking for. I mean, what's similar to evaporate? Hmm. Maybe I should boost the font size just a little. Yeah, I'm confused. They suggest you're going to need more than six guesses, and almost always that's the case. Yeah, I think yesterday I got the solution in 16 or something and was astounded because I had 14 bad guesses and then two exceptionally good guesses and pretty much immediately got it. Um, here I'm stumped. Oh. <laughs> okay, but you've heard of osmosis, but you've not heard of two osmos. Truthfully, I don't think I've heard of it that way either. Um, what else? I'm thinking like the water cycle the energy cycle, the nitrogen cycle. Uh, hmm. I'm just throwing out random guesses because I don't know what the word is. Hmm. Evaporate and erupt. Implode. Now we've already guessed explode and saw I guess number 70 was uh, not similar, but implode is similar. How so? Could just be how it's used in print too. That implode is only used in certain contexts, and explode could be used in other contexts. Um.
some of these things aren't necessarily weather related. Hmm. Well, you got me. Evaporation, eruption, implosion, and ignition. Well, of those, evaporation is not something that's destructive. Although it does involve a chemical reaction, but you saw a guest react already. Um, a guest hydrolysis and such. So... Precipitation. Precipitate is definitely up there. I guess snow. Snow is not up there. Snowing is not up there. Raining. Rain. Hmm. I guessed condensate and condense, but condense is a different meaning anyway. Um, what else to try? Steam. Yeah, I guessed boil. Steam apparently isn't high enough up there. High enough up there. Uh, I'm stuttering over my words. Oh, volcano. I've been so um, stuck in my mind that this needs to be a verb. But yeah, it'd be interesting to know um, exactly what else these words relate to other than being verbs. Oh, come on. And oxidize seems like a good guess to me. Sadly, this uh, corpus does know a lot of words, but it doesn't know that one. It's unfortunate. Um, huh. Could be that my bot is also on the fritz. What else could it be? I mean, these all seem to have to do with some kind of reaction, but I guessed react already. I guess numerous types of reactions. Explode. So explode is a 20.36. 
So it did not quite make the top 1,000 matches. It's a good guess, though. And sometimes if I get, like, in the top 10 or top 20... I spend a long time in the top 10 or top 20 and can't get any further. At that point, sometimes I do give up. But on account of having an audience here, we might as well push on. Plus, I'm not in the top 10 or 20 yet. But yeah, once you get really close to the top, if your train of thought's just not on the right path, sometimes it's not worth pursuing further. Uh... But most of these seem to be natural things, actions, involving some kind of uh, localized weather condition. But I've guessed like typhoon, tornado, and hurricane and such, and that wasn't it. Thunder snow. Oh wow, it knows the word. All right. I was gonna be so amused if that was anywhere close. Uh, Earth is always a fun guess. Uh, in this case, it's not. Other things are closer. Uh, supernova. Nope. Man, what's up with my dictionary? Define, define. Okay, define isn't there. At least it knows some words, but might not know words that are longer than eight letters. Well, no, it would. Might not know, I don't know. Maybe Thunder Snow is a new edition and I just need to update my dictionary. Um, melt, boil, etc. They're all close. Um, there's something, the process by which you take a chemical and boil all the water out of it or boil some other chemical out of it to leave back a stronger chemical. I guess boiling is the name of that. But I thought there was another name for that sort of chemical process. Um, that could be used for like water treatment and such too. Because you boil out the water and then you have like pure water that's boiled out. Uh, fire. Yeah, Ignite is up there, Fire not so much. <laughs> Great minds think alike, eh? Yeah. Yeah, I could not think of a word to describe the condition where a meteor is impacting. Uh, I even had impact guessed here. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guessed vapor already. Yeah, this is a tricky one. Or I'm just completely on the wrong path. But I don't see how. These all seem to have to do with adverse weather conditions. Um... I kind of like the ones, uh, the daily puzzles where we get a noun. Um, somehow this one where we seem to be getting a verb seems difficult. I don't know why. Hmm. Pre-ignite, something I made up apparently. Condensate uh, has a score of three, unfortunately. <laughs> Fraganta. Mm-hmm. Very funny. Confront us up there. Um, so this might not even be a weather thing necessarily. That's a good guess. Shoot, seems like a very good guess. Hmm. 
So devolve is closer than involve. Hmm. <laughs> okay, we guessed word one of a thousand right there. Contradict. There we go. So. That's the least similar word in out of the 1,000 most similar words. Disintegrate scores higher. So annul and nullify have different scores for what that's worth. Uh, mm. Well. Sure seems to be something that has to do with getting rid of something. Or an attempt to extinguish. Um. Hmm. That's not it, unfortunately. Hmm. Well, what else could it be? So I guess evaporate and erupt are pretty close. All these words that have to do with voiding seem not to be that close. So maybe this is still completely down the wrong path. Uh, maybe I mistyped that. Maybe perspire? Hmm. Maybe I should limit myself to 1,000 guesses. Or something less than that. But yeah, this is tricky. I'm a bit disappointed I've not thought of a more similar word than evaporate just yet. Usually I do better, or usually it becomes clear that I'm not making progress, but in this case I don't think either is clear. So we keep going.
But yeah, implode is up there. Confront is up there. I've already guessed oppose. Oppose is there, but it's not quite as forceful. Oh, reject is up there. That's cool. Yeah, that implies having the force to make, uh, compel something. Um, still nothing better than evaporate. So yeah, a lot of these words have to do with forcefully doing away with a thing. But not in a legal sense, in some other kind of sense. I already guessed kill. Kill is not anywhere near. Feels like it should be up there, but what do I know? I'm still surprised React is not up there, but maybe just because React has so many different contexts that, like in this case, it doesn't score highly. But yeah, this is surprising. I really thought I would have this by now. Hmm. Oh, we already guessed demolish. I guess destroy earlier. Destruct is kind of in that same vein. But yeah, apparently my military terms that I've tried guessing and my legal terms that I've tried guessing seem not to be related. So this is curious. There's got to be another pathway here somehow. But what could it be? Yeah, I started with an early guess of leader, because, you know, um, a lot of times when there's a person involved, there there's some kind of agent that is acting in some sort of capacity. So you could tell a lot of things from the word leader, I think, whether it scores well or poorly. In this case, it is not scoring well at all. Um, but then I guess things like oxidize, and that didn't score well either. And corrode, and fuse, and fusion, and so forth. Silence is perhaps seen as a noun rather than a verb. Maybe that's why it scores poorly. Quiet. Gush. Nope. That ain't it. Hmm.
I'm surprised Contradict is in the top 1,000 and some of these other things aren't. Hmm. I guess if I get to guess 500 and I've not made any progress or evaporate, then it's probably not going a good way. Uh... Although I might quit before then. I'm just not creative at the moment. Adduce. I forgot the definition of adduce, but I guessed it anyway. Doesn't that mean to lead somebody towards something? To cite or to quote? What? What would adduce, which we saw here, it's the 768th uh, out of a thousand close words, it's pretty high up there. To cite or to quote? That's not how I was thinking of it. Uh, induce, we already guessed. Adduce, though. To cite or to quote? Yeah. Cite and quote don't score well, but adduce scores well. What the heck? Insight, I already guessed. I'm guessing there's just not a whole lot of texts that use the word adduce. And I guess that's why Samantal is ranking it as being similar to the secret word, even though synonyms aren't similar. There's just not enough sample uh, texts in the corpus for this tool to recognize how dissimilar Adus is to the other stuff, or to the secret word. <laughs> Uh, it only works if you think of it as a machine learning problem. Yeah, I see. Yeah, thanks, strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, sometimes you have to recognize that, like, certain things that come back aren't going to make sense. So I think this uh, tool that they've used does seemingly well differentiate between nouns and verbs. Um, I'm not sure how really... I mean, yeah, I always have in the back of my mind that, yes, this is generated by word to vec, and so, like, other than selection of the secret word, the rankings here are general, generated by word to vec. Um, and so... Um, I shouldn't be astonished when things just don't make sense. But I wonder if there's some other, like, angle that somehow benefits me to think about this as a machine learning problem. Other than recognizing, like, when the word has multiple meanings and some score well and others don't. And if you inflect a word various ways, you'll get... Uh, interesting scores based on the context in which that word was used in the corpus. But, yeah, I'm not sure how further to metagame this. I've already guessed Crush. Um... 
decapitate. Yeah, I don't know. Dismiss. Dismiss is up there. Embargo. It's like, I guess, like dismissal and see, like, okay, this does score similarly to dismiss, just not quite as good. Um, but sometimes if you try various forms of a word, you'll see very dissimilar scores, which could give you some insight as to like which definition uh, might be of interest. Yeah, vaporize is a decent guess. It's just not in the top 1,000. Remind ourselves, or remember that, um, what was it that was our 1,000th most similar word is contradict. Uh, contravene. Nope. Impose. Hey, there we go. Depose. All right. See, we made progress. In position. Nope. So impose is more similar than other words. Um, burden. Uh, burdening. The verb is supposed to burden the noun. Hmm. So, impose certainly has a meaning. It's even higher scoring than depose. Um, so, like, this pressures or places a burden on a thing or a party. Um, what similar words exist? I mean, I've gotten the top 50. I can be kind of proud of that. I don't really need to take it too much further. But it'd be nice to get in the top 10 or top 20 words. This might be hard. Conquer. See, conquer is just one tick above evaporate here. Order. Hmm. Dominate. Oh, there we go. Yeah. That's really good. So I've been guessing like rule and conquer and conquest, but yeah, dominates more to the point here. It's going to be very difficult to beat that. There are only 22 words that score better, including the secret word. Um, yeah, what could it be?
Victor and Victory are pretty decently high up there. Evict? No. Submit. Yeah, submit is more on the receiving side of a power struggle. Struggle is one step above contradict. All right. <laughs> um, domination. Dominion. Nah, dominate's still best. Authorize. Nope. Hmm. I already guessed regulate, which to my surprise is not that high up there. Ah, war, win. Win is pretty damn high up there. Dominate is above win, but win is definitely up there, even above victor. Winner, winning, one. Lose. Wow. Uh, lose is number 934. The similarity score of 36. What in the world? Why would lose be so high up here? Winner. Yeah, apparently winner is not up there, but victor is. Don't know why. Other than, like, Victor would suggest combat, I guess. I did guess combat a few times, and it's still not up there. Surrender? No. Succeed. Succeed is 965. That's good. I get the sense that this is not going to be easy to guess. Ah. <laughs> you got it just now. It took you another 50 guesses from once you got here. <laughs> yeah. That's impressive. That's not easy. 50 guesses is... Uh, yeah. I mean, typically... I don't know. I guess... My games with the or my sessions with this game go one of three ways. One, I manage to guess the secret word. Two, I score somewhere in the top ten or twenty, and then after an hour or so, I give up. And three, I just get nowhere near and just give up on it due to lack of interest. Oh, so this seems to be falling in category two, where I've been here about an hour, and I. Still don't know what it is. <laughs> um, plus, I might not even be on the right path here. Dominate and win it, succeed, all are quite interesting. Lose especially is interesting. With all these other words that are up there. But again, this is a machine learning problem. It's not like this machine knows the definition of every word. It just looks for the context where the word's used. Hmm. 
and see like are there contexts that have similar words used. Already guessed admonish. Conflict or conflict? <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, it's not going to score any better than our thousandth best word down there, which was contradict. So. End game scores closer than game. And probably better than pre-game. Yeah. Post game. <laughs> oh, just end game. Middle game. Opening. Yeah. Opening has lots of other meanings. Checkmate. Stalemate. I don't know. It's a hard one. Well, it's not as bad as some others, though. Like, here I am, or here we are in the top uh, 30. That's pretty good. We might go for another half hour or so, but probably going to call it after that. Yeah, this is the madness that's a semantal if you try to tackle it all at once. If you're doing it especially by yourself, um, it's just mad. So, like, you could have this as something you would just check in on and throughout the day come up with more and more ideas. Um, or you could just uh, be very good at the game and somehow just guess the answer every time. <laughs> Wouldn't that be epic? Oops. Negotiate is up there. Hostage is not up there. Persuade was up here. Oh, it's not that high up there, though. Hmm. You know how I said a half hour? Maybe I mean more like 10 minutes. Uh, we have made terrific progress, but I'm just stumped. Uproot is the word I was looking for. Nope. Um, oh, <laughs> okay. Also, oh, this could be an interesting word. Maybe we stick around a bit then, just to tease a little bit of what's fun about this particular word. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe we stick around a bit. I thought this was just a case of me, like, being dense, and maybe it is, but if there's something amusing about this, I could pursue it a bit further.
I should just make some random guesses then if I possibly I could be on the wrong track. Um hmm. Yeah, let's throw some more random words out there. Exude. How about exude? <laughs> uh... Dictate. Hey, well, we made progress. Hmm. Dictates up there. Dominates, not quite up there. Wins, it's up there. Dictate, though. But edict was nowhere up there. Educe was. Oh, what was the weird word? I guessed earlier, aduce. So I guessed aduce earlier, that was up there. Dictate is up there. Hmm. Conclude. Finish. Conclusion. Conclusory. Hmm. All right. <laughs> I mean, if you want, we'll try it. It's not going to be in there. Because, like they say, the solution's never a name, but sure. Maybe it's got some other meaning. This is hard. 
I'm glad that, uh, yeah, we were able to get to the top 20. This is hard. Build those. Good try that. Be a dictate and dominator up there. Wonder what this means. Consent. Non consent. <laughs> Consensual. No. Edict. Harmony. Will, desire, compulsion, follow, follow, worship, no, beat, beat is up there. Virtual? Uh, hmm. This is weird. So this is much more about... Um, or at least we could say that beat is more similar than torture. Strange. Triumph is up here. 951. Hmm. Close. Well, that could also mean close, not just close. Hmm. Overcome. Very good. Prevail. Oh. Hey. We only took 356 guesses to get it correct. <laughs> Alright. Well. Hope that was worth it, guys. So... Okay, we had evaporate. We were on the weather track for a long time here. Then we had reject. Ooh. I can't sort this by number of guests. We had win here at 254, and it took us another 100 guests beyond that. Confront was maybe what got us here on the correct path. Though it took us a long time to get to prevail. Uh, resist is there nullify lots and lots of other guesses that seem largely irrelevant at this point um wow yeah got a lot of uh long words in here uh dominate definitely uh it's a very good guess overcome is a good guess yeah I was a bit surprised though, like prevail in particular. Um, I mean, we have win right there, but like, um, what am I thinking about? There's some reason that, like, I was particularly stunned that, um, I mean, yeah, these are all verbs, sure. That wasn't it. A lot of these things seem to be like one party or force versus another party or force. I guess prevailing is like that too. But like a person can 
prevail over an obstacle. Or it's like a lot of these things, I don't know, victor and win and lose and such. And I don't tend to think of them the same way as prevail, but uh, maybe that's just my imagination. Oh, so yeah, if we want to know other nearest words, we can take a look here and see what word Tevek came up with. Oh no. Oh no, I missed where he said prevail. Oh, this is terrible. Yes, you did say it. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah, and WTF said it right uh, there. And then the next message was, I got it just now, it took me another 50 guesses when I got your game over. Before you give up saying anything, there's something awkward going on here. I see. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I missed that, but yeah, WTF saw it first. So I apologize for taking forever to enter it. Um, sorry about that. Yeah. Um, I don't know how I missed that. So let's take a look at other nearest words, just out of curiosity. Prevailed, prevails, outlast, prevailing, trump, uh, vanquish, relent, becloud, trounce, persist, steamroll, persevere, uphold, succumb, triumphed, defy, dictate. There's dictate. Yep. Then we had triumph up here. Or triumphed up here. Wait. Why is triumphed up there, but I don't see triumph up here? It's later on. Strange. That's just what word Tevek came up with for similar contexts for a word. Uh, predominate. We go outgun, coexist, overcome, win, falter, etc. So, yeah. Um, anyway, y'all know what the website is. <laughs> uh, you're trying to get the top ten words that weren't fail. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think that's where I first heard the word. It's, um, well, it's from hearts, but I guess in your case it's from bridge. Yeah, I tend to think of it that way in general. Yeah, steamroll is there. So, yeah, thanks all for helping me get through this. I thought it'd be fun. And I think I was right. Um, yeah, so here you can see my record, at least what's cached in my browser. It says I've only played one day. Hmm, that doesn't seem right. I guess my browser cookies uh, evaporated or something. That's fine. Maybe long term I'll figure out um, a better solution for that. Oh, yeah, and then recent words. Well, I guess there's no way to play recent words on the site, so you guys don't mind, or hopefully don't mind, if I share yesterday's word. Because, um, again, there, you have no way to play it. I mean, I guess... Oh, I see. Yeah, sorry about that. No, that's fine. Uh, you don't play this. Yeah, I guess, hypothetically, the only way you could play yesterday's word would be if, like, you're watching along with somebody else's video. And, like, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna reveal what it is. And so... Yeah, yesterday I got this in 16 guesses. Um... And here's previous words. I did not get this. I did not get that. I think I, there were some days I didn't play. Um, I think I got this one. But yeah, I guess overall I have less than a 50% win rate on this. Even just counting the days that I did play. But uh, if I can get in the top 10 or 20 words and not spend all day on it. I'm pretty satisfied with that. So, yeah. That's Samantle. 
in my mind, it's just as fun, if not more fun, than Wordle. So, hope we enjoyed it. Um, yeah, I don't know what game I'll be playing next time, but uh, this is good fun.